Right, in this video we're going to be making a latte on a budget, entry level, um, espresso machine. This particular one is a, uh, a Delta, but it's essentially a DeLonghi EC155 that's been rebadged. Uh, this was bought from Aldi several years ago. So we'll just go to the components. We've got a removable drip tray with a cover. We've got the steam arm, which came with a... A big ugly plastic frothing attachment which uh, frankly was just useless and got bent because it's, it clogs up uh, and just needs taking off and, and actually washing properly thoroughly in soapy water every time to get it clean so it's easier to just use it with the steam arm. This could do with being a little bit longer, maybe about so. Unfortunately it's not and I've, I've not found an extension piece for it, however it does the job. We've got the group head up here with the um, Pot metal port filter, stainless steel basket, double basket, single basket up here in the storage container, a removable water tray at the back, and a lid so you can just refill it directly from the kettle without taking it off. Tamper built in over here, and a three way rocker switch on uh, brew and or pour hot water from the steam one and then left to steam. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is put the cup under there I'm going to uh, this uh, this this next step will make sense when um, when you see the completion of the brewing process which I use for storing it to make sure that there's no water left in the boiler to create um, build up and such like. So. What we'll do is switch it on with the rocker switch and fully open the steam valve knob on the top there. And what this does is it heats the water and draws it through and actually bleeds it through the steam valve arm so that you're not switching the pump on and pumping fresh air um, and, and wearing out the parts. So I'm going to leave that to bleed through and then we're going to leave the machine for a good 10 or 15 minutes to heat up and we'll be back in a moment. You can see that's now pouring out water. If I turn this to brew, that will pump water through the steam arm while the steam valve is open. And this bleeds, bleeds the system through so that the boiler now has water in it. So happy enough with that. So we'll close the steam valve and wait now 10 or 15 minutes for the machine to warm up. At this point I've just um, removed the port filter and dosed that with 12 grams of freshly ground coffee ground in my Hario Slim Mill uh, hand grinder. Um, you could probably squeeze about 14 grams in here, I dosed with 12 because it works for me. And With that nice heavy tamp, clean around the edges of the basket, quick purge of the brew head and I'm going to extract into this glass here so that you can see the extraction take place. I would normally do this into a cup. Okay, that's starting to blonde there, so we'll flick that off. As you can see, we've got a really nice thick crema. I'm going to flick that over to steam. And we've got a milk pitcher here ready with um, milk filled up to the base of the spout here. And we're looking to stretch that by to about here or so. So there's the extracted coffee, so the very very nice thick crema on there. Now 
there are people that are of the opinion that you should, um, I, I find this, this actually transfers from brewing to steam pressure quite quickly, but there are people that are of the opinion that you should steam the milk first and then brew, and there are people, you'll hear people say things like, oh, a, a shot of espresso expires after 20 seconds. Now, think about that logically. I mean, it's nonsense. Who on earth buys an espresso and drinks the thing in 20 seconds. And if you drink it after 20 seconds, do you notice a noticeable difference? No, because you've extracted the flavors into there. The only thing that does happen is the crema dissipates. So just purge the condensation out of there. And we're gonna go ahead and steam the milk. So put them over the one completely. And then throw it down until we get the sucking sound. Indicating it's pulling in air. As that gets up to about body temperature, submerge the tip of the wand. Angled in such a manner that you're getting, that uh, you're rolling the milk. Now I'm not promising latte art on this. Um, it's very hit and miss, and, uh, and I believe that this, this steamer is not really quite powerful enough to, um, to get a good microphone. I've had a half decent attempt once or twice, but I'll, uh, I'll see if I can manage something there. So using my right hand as a temperature gauge, you're basically, you're listening for a slight change there we go. When you get to the point where you cannot comfortably keep your hand on there, you're hot enough on the milk. So purge and wipe off your steam wand immediately. And the reason you purge it is as it cools, any milk that's left on there will get sucked by vacuum back up inside. And the last thing you want is milk up inside your boiler. So, I'm just going to tap that over there so I don't break my stove top. And I'm going to give this a good spin. And hopefully. See what we can do. Uh, as you can see, the creme has dissipated a little, but it's not gone completely. So that's the real difference you've got there. So I'm going to pour and oh, there we go. And we've managed a little heart. Hopefully, you can see that. Back with a little bit of footage from my phone because my my um, camcorder battery decided to die just at that moment and I don't have the spare one charged so um, yeah I'm actually quite pleased with that I managed to manage a little heart I was going to try for a bit of a rosetta unfortunately the um, the microphone wasn't quite good enough for that but we've got a little bit of a heart there as you can see and a nice colour of the coffee there. So it's a double espresso shot and then uh, we've got about two thirds of the quantity in, in steamed milk. And this is from a um, eff effectively a DeLonghi EC155. This is a Delta which is this exact same machine in every specification. And there you go. There are two reasons I use the steam. I do the steaming second. The first one is it gives you a nice dry puck to knock out rather than a super one because there's no overpressure valve um, uh, through a solenoid valve rather on these basic machines. The second one is that it, um, it leaves the boiler empty which is why we primed it in the first step so you're not getting build up inside your boiler uh, while it's empty. So there you go. I hope this was useful and thank you for watching.